So, Janusz, I just wanted to speak to you today about Holocaust Remembrance Day. And you and your family have a really important history in this area. Can you talk first about the, the history in your family that is about the Holocaust? Uh, yeah, if you want. <laughs> well, it's a powerful story. Yeah, it is a story, but everybody uh, uh, has a story. It's not necessarily a Holocaust, but you know, all human humanitarian crisis everywhere. You know, Holocaust is a very important part of it. Uh, God doesn't exist. You are a Jewish, and be very proud of it. It was uh, uh, my my father told me. This sentence, you know, and I and I told him what what what, so what what to do with this, you know, and uh, I later realized that uh, he was in uh, one of uh, uh, the German concentration camps for a year before he escaped to shut into Danube, but they got them with my grandfather, but he did never speak about you know what has happened to him you know so this is a heritage that doesn't exist you are a Jewish and be very proud of it so this is very complex and this is very painful and this is so beautiful to have to have a kind of uh, heritage like this you know and all I knew about you know what has happened to my dad to my to my mother partially to my whole family I knew, I understand, and I learned at the day of the funeral of my dad. Mm -hmm. Because uh, my grandfather told me, okay, I'm going to sit down, this is half an hour, and in this half an hour I will tell you what has happened Oof. with us in the war. So, so this is what we know, this is what I know. This is, uh, I found uh, uh, some moving images about my dad in Dachau. Mm. which was really, really hard. I was just uh, looking for images and, uh, and, and I found it, you know, and I asked Belle, Belle was the sister of my dad, and she told that maybe it's Peter, you know. This is uh, mm. uh, Peter, my father is sitting in a bank, 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 bank. and crying. And it's on the moving images, you know. I think you know, or English or American, free, uh, free, uh, free this. So this is uh, this is what I have as a heritage. Uh, this is a heritage which also I always think it's not a, it's not a, it's not it's not only about Jew, Jewish people. It is about all humanity, what, what is going on, you know, with any color of people or any faith or any difference. And I'm coming from a country, you know, where this is a seal on your, on your forehead, that who we are. So I'm realizing, you know, that I need to, to use uh, what I know about how to make theater or movies, you know, just to, to use it to never stop talking about it. period. It was my answer. Yeah, because you've made films about it with a notebook. Uh, you've made a documentary uh, around it. I have always had a sensation in your work that uh, your family, even though this wasn't something that they talked about, that this is a driving influence in your work as an artist. Like for me, I lost my father when I wasn't even born. I was born five months later. Mm. And my father was a clinical uh, psychologist whose uh, specialty was group therapy. He was one of the early experimenters with it. And I think it's partly what moved me into theater. I mean, theater isn't therapy, but it's about the group and it can be therapeutic. I didn't know my father. I didn't have very many stories about my father because my mother was in so much grief she didn't talk about him very much. And his friends didn't talk about him very much because he died at a very young age. He died at 33. So it's, it's a driver in my life as an artist and I see your work 
as coming out of your extraordinary history of your mother and your father. And it's hard because if we don't talk about these things, then at some point people forget, right? Yeah. Um, I was just told the other day that part of the reason why the Kennedy Center is doing a big show on uh, John Kennedy is because they found out that many people under 40 didn't know who he was. And something like the Holocaust, we know how many deniers there are out there. We know how oh, yeah. many people that say that didn't actually happen. And to have people who have lived through it in some form or another, either because of their parents or their family or their grandparents, um, needs to be able to tell the truth. Yeah. It's, a, it, it's a, I feel, obligatory. Yeah. It's absolutely obligation, you know. I, I made some movies, you know, and I, I made some theaters a little by myself, you know, just uh, forgetting about, you know, that uh, mission or something. So, la pour la, you know, this is how we say this, you know, when we are creating art only for the beauty of art. But, uh, uh, but in the in the so many years before, I just understood that it's not. It, I, I cannot to be that cheap. Mm -hmm. Just to use, I can do things you know as you can. But but there is a lot of things to. We need to talk. We need. It's a duty. It's a it's a it's a gun with a flower in the end. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what to do. And uh, and I'm I'm very I'm very honored to be able to. And I'm very honored to to have a, a, such a huge uh, arena stage now uh, to talk about this Holocaust also in uh, Angels in America. Not directly, indirectly. So, so it, it's not important to talk directly, but it is always important to never to forget, you know, your drive, you know, your engine, your, your petrol, you know, which drives you which uh, drives you, you know, and I, ca I cannot to forget uh, my, I cannot imagine my life not to, not to work with important issues, you know, Holocaust or not, but, you know, you know, it's, uh, it's, unfortunately, it's always very actual, you say in English, you know, it's up to date, you know, it's yep. deniers, you know, Racism everywhere, yep. you know, here in Hungary, in Europe, here in America, everywhere. So, unfortunately, we have duties, you know. There is no way to stop the work because it's always we have to, to say, no, stop it. Think about this. I don't want to say dirty words in an interview or talking with you, but I could. <laughs> you know, that, that, that's, that's so important, you know, to, to, to talk. It has happened, you know, and this is very hard to... Imagine how could it happen, you know, mm -hmm. human beings, you know, mm -hmm. how evil mm -hmm. may a human being to be. Yeah. My father was in World War II, and he was, uh, I forget what he was, a captain or something, and he was in one of the camps that had to do with SS troops re-bringing them into society uh -huh. and he said to my mother I've set, seen good and I've seen evil and I've decided that the power is in the good and that's what I want to follow yeah but he said it was the iridescence of evil that he was confronted with daily mm -hmm. in trying to pull them back uh, from uh, the madness of their ideas yeah. and the life that they'd led and what they'd done. Um, and that's really powerful to me. You know, I think in the world right now, we're seeing so much of the iridescence of evil. We're seeing it, we're seeing it all over. We're seeing it in this country, we're seeing it in, in Hungary, we're seeing it in countries all over the world. Yeah. And you know, if my mother were alive, and she just died about four, 
four years ago, she, she'd just say, all of you have to stop the madness. You have to find ways to stop the madness. You have to find ways to speak out. You have to find ways to talk to people. Yeah. I think the key word, what you mentioned, Molly, this is never to do it before it will be, it will be forgotten. Yeah. And, uh, and this, is, this, is, this is the key word, you know, because it cannot just to be a poster, you know, never forget, always speak about it, you know, we will never forget. But we need to, to write a poster, it's so easy, you know, to post in the Facebook, never forget, it's so easy, it's approximately 15 seconds. But we, artists, I don't like this word, you know, <laughs> about me, sorry. Uh, but uh, we artists, we need to protest constantly and remind humanity that uh, it will appear in very different forms, you know, as yeah. it is in Ukraine yeah. now. Yeah. It is, it is, it is the new Holocaust, you know, in the world, you know, mm -hmm. as as I see, you know, and the evil is endless, you know. Everybody is speaking about what will gonna happen if Putin is something will happen to him. It's coming another one. So, so, mm -hmm. so this is endless, and we have we have endless work, you know. I don't know you who are finishing arena. So how you will be able? How how you will be able rest resting only you know with this kind of duty and drive so it, I'm not jealous about you know okay I, I have to do something so I, I'm sure a year later Molly that you will be hungry to do something and just go hmm? well you know one of the areas that's been really important to me Janish is gun control in this country oh. and my partner Suzanne and I created a march on Washington for gun control uh, 10 years ago after right after a month after Sandy Hook and people came in from all over the country we had 6,000 people that came in and marched and there's going to be a lot more gun control activity coming in now so that will probably be an area I'll move into you know when we talk about evil um, because there's so many ways to focus our lives yes, yes. And you're right, um, if people have been active in their lives, they will continue to be active no matter what they're doing. Sure. And it's also, I, I like what you were saying about things like Facebook, it's easy to post that. Because I think without action, without actually doing something, it's meaningless. Absolutely. This, the, this is what I say, and always we need to find the way how to how to protest. You know, I was for me it was remarkable. You know, when I was preparing for angels in America, going back to the origin of ACT UP. You know, this yeah. movement. You know, because I just felt this is this is something. You know, which I. Basically, I missed in my whole my in my whole life, you know, just to have a, just to have a people around me and to, to, to go and to fight for, you know, and uh, and um, act up is needed again to 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 burn again from ashes now, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. gun control, Holocaust, you know, mm -hmm. all the social racial injustice mm -hmm. in this country mm -hmm. forever. So. So the act up was something good, huh? mm -hmm. fresh, powerful, and very bold. You know, I just I, I was just witnessing, you know, the actions, mm -hmm. what I had done in the church at the Reagan's. Mm -hmm. They just poured the, the ashes uh, to Reagan's uh, uh, garden where the angels' idea just came. So, if it would be something act up, I would run. And my family and my children, and I'm sure you and you and Suzanne, we would run together to to to, to do something. Because if we don't, we are just bystanders. Dead, dead alive, okay. <laughs> dead alive. Dead alive, yeah. I like dead alive. I think that's great. Yeah. yeah.
Great. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. And, uh, I can tell you one story. Okay. Uh, if you have more. I do. Go, please. Yeah. Uh, why I have been f so faithful in my life, you know, I had one call from Spielberg to stay. I had another call in Harvard to stay. And I always been so faithful to my country, Hungary. And I tell you why. No, I won't, because I'm here and we are not uh, intent to go back to Hungary. But this is the third. But two times I had an idea, my country wants me. My there is a hope in my country. I see. And, and this is, you know, this is my grandfather told in this half an hour, you know, because the Hungarian Nazis in 44, they had a tradition, they took the Jewish people in a row, you know, 222 two, two, or 333, three, but it was 222, two, two, and, uh, and to, to take to the Danube River, you know, and shut them, you know, just rope, 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 and shut them, so, so nobody escaped. After the, the, the German Nazis, you know, escaped from Hungary, Hungarian Nazis didn't want to, to stop it, you know, and they killed an enormous, enormous number of uh, uh, Jewish who were hiding here and there. Mm -hmm. You know, and my father and my grandfather, they were walking into the Danube, you know, and my father and grandfather had been the last in the queue. And my grandfather uh, took his, my father's hand and they stopped in the end. And the march was going on into the Danube, you know, but they were stopping, a kind of escape moment, you know. Mm -hmm. And the Hungarian Nazi gendarmerie was looking back and didn't say anything, and they went. So it is my always hope about Hungary, and still it's a hope. And this is my always hope about this is something in humanity. It's still a hope. And, uh, and this is not just about why I have been always faithful, but this is, there is always a little hope right. in, a, in, a, in anybody, I do believe, you know. So this is my final story. I have another one, but I will tell you tonight. Okay, you tell me tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Great. Thank you, Janusz. I appreciate this invitation. I'm so, so happy always to talk about this. I'm honored, and I was honored to be here in your last year. So, mm -hmm. And I'm honored to have you. We are honored, so we will have a good day tonight. All right. <laughs> that sounds good.